hello Aquarius. How's everybody doing today? We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that you may be trying to decide like whether or not you want to move on from something. Is it the right time to do it? Are you really ready? It seems like there's a lot of maneuvering, a lot of figuring out that's happening. Deciding. So it seems like it's coming down to choice here with this. Also, um, if any of you guys are looking to connect with more readings, I have started a Patreon. We've been going now for a couple weeks, but I do readings um, like about every other day or so. I publish readings on there, so and they're only put on Patreon. So if you guys are interested in getting more readings, I welcome you to subscribe. Um, that information is in the box below. In the description box below. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Four of Wands here. So this is a focus on maybe like a main relationship of yours or a committed relationship of yours. For some of you, this can be involving like the people that you live with because I see the Four of Wands being sort of like a foundational relationship that you have that you're maintaining. So it can be a serious committed relationship, a very close friendship, um, an established relationship with siblings, parents, people that you live with, a marriage, things of that nature where there's a sense of this thing being established, um, something that's steady within your life and something that you are committed to in a sense. To have Six of Pentacles, these... Six of Pentacles, when it comes to a relationship, it talks about our expectations and our needs of like what is going to have me feel like this is a fair dynamic when I'm living here with you or if I'm going to be in this relationship with you. Like, do you expect this person to call you every night? Is that something that you feel like you need? Do you expect them to take out the garbage every Wednesday? You know, stuff where um, there's a focus on I'm connecting with what my values are. I'm connecting with what my expectations are. I'm really at the bottom of it asking myself, what does it take for me to feel valued and respected? To have things feel like they're fair when it comes to this thing that I'm committed to. So there can be talk about... Feels definitely geared towards expectations... Know too that this means there's going to need to be like an analysis and reflection on what those things are for you because if you don't know what your values are, if you don't know what your expectations are, how are you going to communicate that with another person? So these are things that you, just like when it comes to boundaries too, it's the same thing. It's something that you need to figure out between you and yourself first before you can then connect that with another person. And so there's definitely a focus on you figuring this out for yourself and then you are going to be, this is going to have something to do with a relationship of yours. If you hear jostling around, that's just oh in the background. But yeah, maybe there's been something going on where you feel like your expectations haven't been being met. Aquarius, I'm seeing this feel kind of like a challenge right now. Not to say that it's not a doable thing, it just may be something that's more difficult. There's definitely a sense there's definitely a sense of love here. But I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords and Knight of Cups. So, 
could have been an issue with reciprocity within a relationship, although the love is still there. This can mean that emotionally, you may feel very compatible with this person. However, when it comes to like practical things, there can be issues because I'm seeing this is going to be the center focus. And this feels like more practical. Pentacles are going to be practical, more like things that are being done within the 3D. Cups is more so things being felt, not so much keeping track of who's doing what, you know, but pentacles can be like that. And so there's a focus on the pentacles, who's doing what within a relationship. This is something that you're committed to, established. I'm not seeing there be an issue with love. To have this Ace of Cups here, this means that there's still like um, a rawness and a genuine connection that's felt. But for some reason, that may not have been enough within the situation because we're looking at the Ten of Swords here. So this would mean an ending. And then right after the fact, I'm seeing a message being sent. So there can be like communication or there being something shared about this ending and like how one feels about that potentially with like somebody else that you're close with because i'm seeing the lovers um for some of you this is a sibling okay There's a plan being made, but I'm seeing this be kept under wraps for some reason. I'm even getting this sense of, like, somebody knows something, but it has not come to, like, a full completion yet with the energy. Two of Wands is figuring out where one wants to go next and I see this definitely be associated with like planning and it's also connected with deciding see how this person has chosen this one it's like you had multiple options and now this person is like this is the way that I'm gonna do it and then to have the world is kind of like a plan of what's going to be happening high priestess can mean I'm making a plan but I'm not telling anybody because high priestess can be associated with the things that you know that you're not telling anybody else or that um yeah, things that are kind of, like, kept secret for the most part. Or it's, like, not time to say something yet. I definitely see, like, High Priestess, again, is associated with, like, hidden knowledge. And I'm seeing this be associated with a plan being made. Something here about the timing needed to be particular or it needs to be particular and that may be why some of this is not being talked about yet. Because it seems like as soon as this ending happens, somebody's sending a message about it, somebody's talking about it, somebody's sharing about it. And like normally after the Ten of Swords, it can be like kind of processing things, being still, like needing to rest, whatever. But someone's, like, immediately popping up and, like, having a discussion about it. And I'm seeing that there's talk about this ending that's being formulated and connected into a plan that's being made. But again, like, what, whatever this plan is that's happening, I'm seeing that only the people that need to know are aware of this happening. This is not something that is public. Maybe to sort of like keep an opportunity. One is keeping an opportunity to themselves. For some reason, it seems like by being quiet about something, an opportunity is then presented.
this is going to lead to massive change but it's something that's definitely going to take a while this is not the sort of change that begins and ends very rapidly this is something that's going to come into play and it's going to be sort of like a, a long growing wave that is going to build and build and build actually i want to keep going before we break this down further we're gonna get a lot more context for this i just want to get five more cards I'm seeing there be feelings up in the air. I'm seeing that be looked into. Meaning, one may be in a space where they're feeling a lot and they're still trying to like sort out and sort through and figure out how they feel. of not wanting to lack awareness when it comes to this situation. So, Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands. There's a focus on reciprocity. There's a focus on fairness. There's a focus on a dynamic, an exchange that's happening and trying to plan. But I'm seeing, like, practically, it may be easier to plan than it is to account for what's going on emotionally. Because I'm seeing the Seven of Cups here. And this means that maybe, again... Practically, when it comes to this, we can plan that stuff out. That stuff is not like the hard part. What's the hard part is that there's like a lack of clarity emotionally when it comes to a relationship. So this can mean like there's a lack of emotional clarity when it comes to this like relationship commitment of yours. So let's say a marriage of yours or a committed relationship of yours where you have become like a unit of sorts with someone. There's like a lack of emotional clarity when it comes to this unit, okay? High Priestess is, I know that there are things going on and I have not talked about it yet, or I'm aware of certain things and I have not shared that yet. This is like, I know that I'm keeping things to myself right now. I know things, I just have not revealed that at this point. So there may be things that you're aware of that have not been plainly discussed with this person that pertains to your relationship. Having the judgment card is about both analyzing the things that you know right now that have not been shared. And it seems like it's also about analyzing your connection with this person an opportunity that you have and what you want to do. Now, I'm also seeing the Seven of Swords here and also the Ten of Swords, which can mean there's... a desire to want to end things because something feels soiled in some way. Seven of Swords leaning, leading up to the Ten of Swords is like, I know that something is going on here where there's like a lack of transparency and things are going to end. Like they're about to end, they're soon going to end. Um, the name Cat is coming through. That may be a specific message for someone. So... Something is going to come to an end and I'm seeing that if it does, because this seems like 
This seems like there's an opportunity to bring things to an end, but it may not have actually come to an end yet. It's more so like I know what's going on behind the scenes, but these things haven't come into play yet because I'm seeing definitely energetically, I'm getting a lot coming off of this card, which is more like analyzing the scene before one takes action. So you may be like looking everything over before you hit the play button. If things do come to an end, right after this ending that means like big big change a big big shift would happen so this can be like a huge catalyst within your life for a big transition um who are we looking at um scorpio the moon and pluto So I am seeing something come to an end. It, it seems like something needed to come to an end because... You know when you find yourself in a situation and you feel like it's like contaminated in some way and so you're like regardless of what happens after this I just know that at least this part needs to end kind of so you can like it feels like burning something off that n needed to be burnt off. Whether or not you decide to get back together with this person or what happens, something needed to end at least for now. And this is how I'm seeing things because nobody wanted this to transpire further, but it was present. And so I'm seeing this almost as something needing to be sort of like pinched off. And that's why things needed to come to an end. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing abruptly. Again, focus on the Scorpio energy. So then I'm seeing after the fact, somebody is coming through, again, focus on Scorpio, somebody's coming through and making an offer, there's like a message that's attached. This is like somebody coming through for more than one reason. And it's interesting too, because this parallels, we have a pentacle here, we have a cup here. In the beginning, we had pentacles and cups here of there being something that was going on that felt like it wasn't balanced and there also being um, like a lack of clarity emotionally. Now we have somebody coming through, planning to come through, may not have actually come through yet. This is like in the works of happening. I feel like you guys, each of you may be on very different timelines with one another because I'm seeing like a couple different breaks in the timeline. That's all going to like depend on choice. So anyway, for a change, for a change, somebody is going to come through. For some of you, maybe more than one person, but for many of you, I see this as one person with multiple agendas coming through, at least like paving the way to be doing that. I'm not seeing this as having happened yet necessarily. Again, it depends on where you are in the timeline, but this is somebody that is like doing what needs to be done in order to actually come through. But this is also somebody like waiting to take action, waiting until they feel prepared. Because this is about feeling prepared. This is a card of action. And this is like, I need to wait to get prepared to do that. Seeing also in the meantime, you may become like more, more of an agent of action as well within your own life. Yeah, it's, something is definitely on the table. This person, okay, listen, if you had an ending, especially when it came to like a big important relationship of yours, I'm seeing it's on the table that um, there's a possible reunion and you're going to have to make a choice as to whether or not you want to like reunite slash reconcile slash connect again with this person, okay? That's where this is going. So after like all of this, I'm seeing us end in a spot where um, there's potential for you to connect again with this person, okay? All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.